guys, Cindy here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? I'm doing pretty well. We are here today to work on our Chronic Pain ABCs. Let's see where we're at. A, B, C, D, E, F. We are on our G. All right, so let's take our G tag. And let's see what we've got for today. Today's words. <laughs> They're big ones. Um, let's see. That looks like a G word in there. All right, today's words we have. Um, oh boy, one's a big one. Guilt. Guilt, guilt, guilt. Let's see, I'm going to take a little bit of this and use that to glue on it so I don't keep getting my desk all sticky. So, guilt. Hmm, it's huge, isn't it? Uh, let me tell you, when um, my chronic pain first started, when I had my accident and um, messed up my back, the guilt is unbelievable. Now, when I say it's unbelievable, what I mean is my husband and I, when we, when we got together, um, I was very, very proud to be a a partner a teammate with him we worked together on everything um, whether it was housework lawn work um, paying the bills um, everything we did everything together it was just we enjoyed spending time together which we still do I don't want it to sound like we don't um, but you know I can't go out and help him you know uh, weed all the bushes and and just mow the lawn and take wheelbarrows of stuff you know and and um build things out in our yard i mean i really 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 pr was proud of being a full what i considered a full partner to him right so the guilt for me i'm gonna stick this on here while we're gluing um, the guilt for me came when I had to watch him, and I still have to watch him do this all by himself. Okay, I when this very first happened, I felt like I was completely letting down my marriage. I felt like I was completely letting down my um, my responsibilities. I felt like. You know, I was, I felt useless. Um, and another word that goes with that is worthless. I felt like, you know, what good am I? The guilt, the guilt of watching him have to do this all by himself. Plus the guilt of watching him now have to start picking up part of my responsibilities. Because that's what he had to do. And... Let me tell you, that guilt is just no fun. No fun whatsoever. This glue is not sticking down here, so let's get it. Let's glue it, baby, some more. So, yeah, that guilt was very, very hard. Um, and at times, it still surfaces, especially, you know, when I see him come in from a long day, and I'm like, honey, can you please lift this or move that or, you know... Um, change this or fix that you know that guilt is still there it's like you know I'm really sorry and he's like don't worry about it no big deal um, matter of fact he just came in the art room a few minutes ago from outside and I asked him if he could you know do something for me and I just you know I feel like it's like you know I always want him to do something for me and that's not it's just things that I can't do and it's it's difficult that guilt is difficult it's just and you have to learn how to get beyond that guilt and I'm going to tell you I'll be the first to tell you it's not easy it is just not easy um, this tag I want to do a little bit different uh, I'm going to do some journaling on this tag and I want to journal about the guilt so that's the first thing I'm going to do uh, right now I'm just putting a thin black line, so hopefully I don't have to do a big thick black line. 
Wow, I think that's the first time I've ever done it without messing it up. Woohoo! All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some journaling about the guilt, and then I'll come back um, and we'll talk a little bit more about some more words I have. I'll be right back. All right, so I did some journaling on here, um, and then I just pulled out this washi tape. I love this washi tape. I believe this is a Dina Wakely washi tape. I just love it. I'm not sure why. But it's one of my favorites. Favorite washi tapes. Okay, so um, like I said, this tag is going to be a little bit different because I want to do a few different things on this. So that's the first one is the guilt. Um, I actually just wrote about it. Um, I wrote about, you know, how I feel about having those guilt feelings. That sounds funny. How I feel about having those guilt feelings. <laughs> I wrote about, um, you know, just the, what it meant to me, what that guilt meant to me. Okay. So I did that. Now, let's see what we can do. Um, for my next word, <laughs> uh, this is more, the next word is more for, um, oh, what do we want to say? Um, those of us that have an autoimmune disease, um, that this really affects. And what I'm talking about is germs, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make these little germy peeps. There's one little germy peep. I want that one. Let's use this one. Let's make another little germy peep. Let's make him maybe like this. So yeah, germs. It's huge. It's huge. You have to be really, really, really careful when it comes to going out in public and the germs that you are exposed to. And I will tell you that since I've gotten the fibro, um, I am even more and more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I am more conscious of the different germs that are out there. Now, you guys know that, um, you know, everybody goes everywhere now when they're sick and it, it just, it drives me crazy. So what I've been doing and, um, to help com combat that is in my car, I actually have a, uh, on each side, both the passenger and the driver's side, I have a box of antibiotic wipes. Um, it's a box with an individual packages. That's what's in there right now because that's what I found at the time when I needed more. And I make sure every time we get in the vehicle, we the first thing we do is we get that box out and we um, clean our hands. Now, when I say we, I mean anybody that's with me, whether it's my friend, my mother-in-law, my husband, doesn't matter. I'm like, hey, here you go. And I just hand it to them. And you know what? What do they do? Everybody washes their hands. And you know, I think it makes to, um, to, to keep things healthy. And that is one of the huge precautions that I've done. Since I started doing that, I have not been sick, which I think is fabulous. Um, these, I just, I love these little faces. I found these in the dollar store. I think it was the Dollar Tree. And they're supposed to go on egg. They're egg face stickers, but you know what? Hey, they're going to be on my germs. I just thought these were really cool, so I picked them up. So... The first one, let's put this little germy guy. I thought they made little great little germy faces, don't they? Look at him. He's a little germ. Uh, let's see. Let's get another little germ here. This guy looks like he's a happy germ. Let's put him here. Oh, you can't see him very well. That's all right. And then this guy looks like he's a happy germ. He's out to get you. I love them. Little germy faces. So anyways, I picked that up. I thought that was kind of cool. <clears throat> so yeah, germs. Um, I do everything I can uh, to take precaution against germs. Like I said, I use my little, um, my handy wipes. And I try to make sure that, you know, wherever I go, I'm, I'm pretty conscious. 
you know, if somebody around me is coughing and sneezing and, you know, I try to get as far away from them as possible because I really, I don't need it. I don't need to be sick on top of everything else. And unfortunately with fibromyalgia, when, when something like that happens, you feel 12 times worse than you would if it, you know, a normal person um, has you know, a cold or whatever. It just, it seems to wreak complete havoc on your body. And it's not fun. It really is not. I'm not saying that getting sick is fun anyway, but um, with something like that, it's even worse. So those are the two words that I'm working on today is um, guilt and germs. So what I'm going to do, I just want to put a little bit of doot -doo doots in here just to make up cut up this blue a little bit all right so guilt and germs doesn't that sound like fun all right so let me just I need to somehow get on here guilt and germs and I think I'm just gonna do it the same way I did before I'm gonna use my label maker I love this thing um, and I'm gonna put the words on here I L T I think I didn't do the T. I think it's Gil. Yep. <laughs> we're gonna just we're gonna write the the T in. Let's do that. And germs. All right. So here's the guilt. Gil. We're gonna use Gil. cut this off so I can put here's my oops get back here you and I'll put a T on there that's not a problem and we've got germs so I'm sure I can see all you guys shaking your head yep both of them. I know what you're talking about, Cindy. Yeah, the guilt is rough. The germs are rough. So there's my guilt and germs. Let's put my T on here. There we go. Guilt and germs. All right. I think he's cute. <laughs> I love it. Little germies and here we go. All right, so let's go on the other side. What have we got on the other side? Um, for the guilt and the germs, what do we do? And I've got a couple different words that I wrote. Um, is guide and gentle. And I'm going to use the gentle for the guilt. We really have to be gentle with ourselves when it comes to those feelings. Again, the reason being is you would not be upset at your um, best friend if they were feeling guilty. You'd be like, hey, you know, don't worry about it. It's understandable. You know, please don't feel this way. You know, I have no problem going home early from shopping. Trust me, it saves me money. Um, whatever the case may be, you're going to talk to them and you're just going to tell them, hey, it's okay. Right? So why not do that to yourself? Why not be gentle with yourself? Because we don't know how to be. So we need to start being more gentle with our feelings and understanding that it's okay to feel the way we do. And you know what? Our friends, our family, they, they're going to understand. If they don't, they need to go elsewhere. <laughs> that sounds awful, doesn't it? No. You know, if they don't understand, I just, I try to explain it to them. And if they don't get it, you know, I will say to my husband, would you please explain to them what I'm talking about? And he usually will, you know, talk to them off to the side and say, hey, this is what's going on, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, be gentle. Be gentle with yourself. It's not, um... It's not worth beating yourself up over because you feel these feelings. You're human. You're allowed to feel these feelings, right? All right, so let's see. What else am I going to put on this yellow? So we have gentle and then guide. And I'm not sure why I put guide on here, 
But the only thing I can say is when I think about guide, I think about how, um, you know, I take pre preventative measures so I don't get sick. Um, you know, I will guide others to do the same way. You know, I ask them here, you know, or I hand them a thing. Here you go. And it just helps to um, when other people understand that, you know, I'm trying not to get sick because it just, it, it, poof, it blows all out of place when I get sick. So, I don't like that one. I like that one on there. It's got the yellow in it. That's why. I'm not sure what else I want to put on here. Maybe this. I like that right there. What else? Again, this is just my box of, um, my drawer of just scrappy stuff. So let me move this over so you can see what I'm digging through here. Let me go back out a little bit. Uh, don't mind my desk. It's a mess. All right, so here's my tag. <clears throat> All right, so here's the two things I've got on it so far. Let's see what else is in here I can use. So yeah, be gentle with yourself. There's another one, gentle. Uh, we already did that one, gentle. Um, yeah, see, fibro fat, fibro fog. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I want to use a little bit of that, but not the whole thing. Hmm, I like this one, dream. Pretty, but it doesn't go with this. So, talk to your friends, talk to your family, be gentle with yourself. Um, do the best you can to prevent getting those germs and getting sick um, and you know we can do this we can do this life is good you may not think it at times you may not feel it at times but life is good we can do this right all right so let's take I'm move this out of the way for a second your scissors. I want this. I just kind of like that on there. I don't know why, but I do. Let me go back down in. And I want a piece of this on here. I'm just not sure. I'm thinking I'm going to go like this. Staple that together. I love playing with these tags because you just you do whatever you want to do. Do I want to do it like this? Yeah, that's better. So I'm gonna staple them together. So yeah, be gentle, guide yourself, and most of all, you know. Don't forget to have fun because, you know, we're only one round on this. You might as well have fun and enjoy life because um, it's short. Life is way too short not to. Oh, where's my... Here it is. I'm going to stick this one down with tape just because I don't think glue will keep it there. So I'm going to use double-sided tape on this. And... Need my pokey tool. My pokey tool. It takes a lot to learn how to be gentle with yourself because there's times I'll tell you it's really, really rough. Did I put that? Yeah, I did. Okay. It's really rough. We like to beat ourselves up. And, you know, we have to stop doing that. Now, let me see. This is just a bunch of stuff I had in this little envelope over here. I want to see if there's something on here I can put right on top of that. That works. Let's take you. And let's put you right here. Yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. You know, I'm 
I'm enjoying doing them because it just, you know, it's a different approach on how things look from the chronic um, pain point of view. And, you know, hopefully it'll just give you a little bit of food for thought. You know, even if it's, you know, something, well, I don't feel that way or I don't have to worry about germs or, you know, maybe at least if there's somebody in your life that does have that issue, you know, maybe it'll just give you something to think about to help them. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm hoping, you know, like I said, I can at least help somebody, um, even if it's just a little bit. So <laughs> I'm going to put the words, I'm actually going to do them on my label maker again. I'm going to put um, Guide and Gentle on here. And I just felt like, I don't know, drawing these little bitty lines everywhere on the yellow. and gentle. Do, 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 do. Little, little little flower I'm gonna stick on there. Crash, bang, tearing stuff up. I wonder if I'm going to be able to see these. I don't know if I am or not. Let's find out. Start out with gentle. Actually, what I could do is I could put them down here. No, let's put them up here. Yep, gentle and guide. What else can we think of? What are the good words? Mmm... I'm sure you guys will come up with them and you know I enjoy seeing what words that you have that work with your conditions um, it's fun it's not fun that you have the conditions but it's fun to see what other words where's my pens they keep running away um, it's it's fun to see what other words you guys come up with that you know you're dealing with a little bit different so um, I enjoy that so definitely keep them coming um, I like to see, and, and like I said, we're here to help each other. So here's my guide and gentle. And then here is my guilt. Oh, my tea rubbed off. Let's put the tea on like this. Tea. Guilt and germs. Now I need to get some kind of a fiber. Let's pull this little case out and see what's in here. We have some fibers in here. Yeah, we do. Um, here's a little piece of blue string. This is one of my travel cases. Um, this little case here. I got it at Tuesday morning a long time ago. And it's just got a bunch of fi fibers and stuff in here. So I just want to use a little bit of this. Here's a piece of string if I can get it out of here. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, there's more than one way cut it off so that let's use this and this and do we have a little piece of yellow we do let's use this little piece of yellow don't want that let's use yellow and blue why not all right so we're just about done with this tag like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this series. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, I enjoy doing this stuff for you guys. And, you know, it's not only for you. It's for me as well. Um, when, I, when I go through these different prompts and stuff, it makes me think about where I'm at in my chronic pain journey. And it actually helps me also to um, remember these things, to remember 
that I have to be gentle with myself and to remember that, you know, it's okay to feel these feelings. Looking for my little hammer here. Sorry, guys. I wanted that flat. So, yeah, so it's, it's good for me as well as you. All right? I hope you guys have had fun. As always, don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and until next week, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.